You ready for your glute and thigh workout? Guys, it's gonna be freaking hard, okay? So get ready for that. So today you'll need two dumbbells. Now, this time, guys, let's go a little bit heavier, okay? Let's really try and challenge ourselves, okay? So I've got uh, two tens here that I'm working with, okay? If you have one weight at home, that's fine. Try and go for the heavier option if you have it, okay? Alrighty, so let's get into our warm up, folks. So we're gonna do a pretty lower body focused warm up today, specifically for glutes, too, okay, guys? So we're gonna start with these knee rotations. Good, we're gonna do these for 30 seconds. Now going in, open to the side, and I'm drop. In, open to the side, and I'm drop. Perfect, okay. Here for another 20 seconds. Here we're gonna try and give our hips a bit more mobility, okay? It's gonna help us to get deeper into all of our lower body exercises, which is exactly what we want. We wanna go a little bit lower today. We're gonna challenge ourselves a little bit more. Yeah, all right, in three, two, one. Let's go to the back now. So you're gonna raise your right leg up. We're gonna bring it down, up and down, up and down. Balancing on that left leg, let's go for 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Keeping that back leg as straight as you possibly can. Making sure that you're not feeling that low back. You're holding your core in as you raise. Perfect. And five, four, three, two, one. Other side, okay? Here we go, 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Good, holding that core. You can either flex or point the toe. I personally like to flex. I feel it a bit more in my glute as I flex. Pointing the foot will engage more of that calf muscle, okay? Still the glute, still the hamstring. You go in. And three, two, one. Fabulous. Okay, to the sides. We're gonna raise that leg really high and switch. Okay, three, two, one. Side abductions. Ten more seconds. Trying to get it right up to 90 degrees if you can. Three, two, one. Next one. Opening up the legs way past hip width. Toes are going to be pointed to 45 degrees. Now you're sitting in that squat. I'm a little bit closer. So you're sitting in the squat. You're going to rotate and pivot your toes. So your knee ends up kind of um, turning inward down to the floor. You're going to turn it back to neutral and then do the other side, okay? Side view. I'm really twisting my legs. All right, think hip joint instead of just the knee buckling in. It starts from the very top of the leg. Here we go. Rotation, three, two, one. Good. Now it doesn't have to be too, too deep here. You can deepen as you go into that knee rotation or hip rotation rather. Same thing here. We're making sure that we have more mobility in our exercises. Okay, three, Two, one, beautiful. All right, guys, we're ready, let's get it. So, you're gonna grab your weights. Our first exercise is a sumo squat to curtsy lunge. So first phase one is gonna be a combo of a two-legged exercise to a one-legged exercise. Well, kind of, <laughs> one where you're putting more weight on the other. All right, so here we have sumo. So, weights are gonna stay in the center first, as you drop down to that sumo squat, get nice and deep, okay? You're coming back up. Now we're working with the left leg first, so our right leg's gonna step behind us to do that curtsy lunge. There it is. You're coming back to a sumo. All righty, 30 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Okay, sumo. Right leg goes back, always going back with the right. Good job, folks. 
15 more seconds. Make sure your hips are square to the front when you do that curtsy lunge. Good work. Right, five, four, three, two, one. Rise up. Beautiful. Phase two, we've got an abduction raise to a toe tap, okay? So we're going to start in that curtsy lunge, okay? Your back leg is the one that's moving. So you're going to tap out to the side, raise the right, bring it down, tap behind you in that curtsy, okay? We're never putting our full weight. Almost through. Nice and high. Remember what I talked about in class too? You want that toe pointing forward when you do that side abductor raise. Okay, we're gonna get the most side meat <laughs> that way. Woo! Hollow. She's burning already. Three and two and one. Bam, there you are. Okay, you feel that left side? I do. Next one is a pulse. Okay. There's a slight exception though, we're going to make it harder today by raising that front, sorry, raising that front right heel, okay? Your right heel is lifted. We're going to do our sumo pulse in this orientation, okay? So I am keeping the weight between both my legs, but it's a little bit harder on my left side, okay? That's the side we're working more. Three, two, and one, okay. Raising right here, heel. And we're pulsing up and down. Perfect. Keep going, side view. Now I'm still keeping my shoulders pretty upright, okay, but I'm sitting back into the hips. It's a great exercise for inner thighs too. Anytime you raise that heel, I find I really feel the work, not only in the quads and surrounding muscles, but inner thighs. Yo-ho, ballet dancer days, you her. <laughs> Keep going, five, four, good, three, keep pulsing, two, and one, rise up, perfect. You're gonna drop one weight, okay, and that's the only part of the exercise that's slightly easy. Drop one weight, next one we got head, face four, gonna bring your weight up to your chest. Now it's a jump, we're going sumo squat jump, curtsy, hop. All right, back to sumo jump, back to curtsy, to hop. All ready? 30 seconds here. Three, two, and one. Oh. Yeah. Good. Buns and ties, guys. Buns and ties.
finish it off. Beautiful. We got that pulse. Let's go to sumo. We're going to lift your left heel this time. You're pulsing right in between the legs. Three, two, and one. Pulse it out. Inner thighs are working. Good job. Making sure that both knees are going right out to the sides. We're not sacrificing knee buckling. Okay? Not sacrificing those knees for this. Uh-uh. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Fabulous. Drop to a single. Take your sweater off. I'm just already sweating. You guys know this. All right. Face forward, we got that hit. Bring your weight up. Here you go. So you want to squat jump to the curtsy hop. Three, two, and one. Make sure you keep breathing. Three, two, one. Perfect. Okay, keep that right leg behind you. We're doing our tap, okay? Here's slightly different. You're going to keep all the weight on the left side. You're going to lean forward slightly, lifting the leg up. You're going to tap the floor and bring it back up. Side knee. Okay? Here it is. I'm just lifting and tapping. Okay, so this is our balance phase two. Three, two, one. One, let's go. Right, raise. Tap it on the floor each time. Okay, we want to go back to the same height as our first one each time. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Okay. That leg stays back. We're doing a back lunge, pulse, okay, raising our front left heel. So we're in that lunge, here it is. You're gonna raise that front heel. So I'm literally on both toes, balls of my feet, yes. We're pulsing in this orientation. Okay, 30 seconds, let's go. Three, two, and one. Good, heel raise, pulse. Shoulders are nice and upright. Think about the weights taking you down and your toes pushing the floor away on your way up. Bending the back knee right down to the floor. Uh -huh. Five, four, three, two, fight it, one. Beautiful, pop that heel down. One weight goes down. Awesome. Here we go. It's our little hit phase, our double hops. Okay? We're mimicking what just happened. 
So you're going to start with your back lunge, right leg behind you. Here you have a lunge hop. Hop. Step in, split hop, come back to lunge hop. Step in, open, close, back to lunge. Okay? Three, two, one. Let's go. Up, down, together. Open, close. you guys off. Oh man. Alrighty. So here's what's happening. You're going to take both weights first. Okay. Our first one is a glute bridge to a hamstring walkout. Let me show you first before you start. If you don't want to talk about it, go for it. You're placing both weights on your pelvis. Okay. I don't care how, whatever is most comfortable for you guys. If anything, grab a towel. You're going to start, okay, feet flat on the floor, you're going to raise your pelvis off, keep it off as you extend the legs, 
going to stand on your heels there for a second as you extend. That's your hamstring curl. You're going to walk out. You're walking back in, dropping the pelvis back to blue bridge. Walking out, back in. Okay? Let's go. Three, and two, and one. Okay. Up. Walking out. Engagement, always breathing out as you press down and up, squeeze, squeeze. Last one up, out, out, in, in. Good work. Did you get it? Good. All right, next one. You're going to drop to one weight. We've got a single leg glute bridge raise to tap. So here, you're gonna keep your weight on the leg that's on the floor. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the left side. We've been doing the left side this entire time. So let's start with that left. Most of us are weaker there too. My other hand's gonna go on the floor. Okay, you're here, now I'm lifting my right leg up. I'm going to extend, okay, from here, I'm gonna extend and tap the floor with my heel. Okay, bring it up, extend, all the while keeping that left one lifted, okay? Extend and tap, find the floor. Up, and drop, nice job. Really moving that top leg. 10 more seconds. Pulling belly into the back. Three, two, last one. Find it. Good work. Did you stay at that height the whole time? I hope you did. All right, next one here. We got a pulse. Woo, this is hard stuff. All right, pulsing. You're going to keep this leg lifted, okay? Try and keep it straight. Now, what's happening is we're following along. Same formula we have. I'm going to raise that heel off and we're pulsing on the toe. Oh, yeah. All right, ready for this one? Three, lifting heel, two, and one. Let's pulse up. Good job, you got it. This is a little craziness, guys. You can put that heel down and just practice on the flat foot, okay? But try your best to keep it on the toe. Good, five. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Woo! Nice job. All right, this next one. We're gonna grab that second weight. Okay? Let's do it. Both feet start on the floor. Okay? Now, part of our hip phase four. So it's gonna be slightly different. We are adding the hop though. You're gonna start with your legs closer together. Not touching, but definitely a little bit less than hip width. You are gonna lift, that's your glute bridge. You're gonna jump out, okay? Back in, down you go, okay? If it's too much with the weights, take them off, okay guys? Here we go, glute bridge raise, out, in, drop. All right, three, two, and one. Trying to extend the legs a little bit more. <laughs> that 
second. Good job. Last one. And drop. Excellent. All right. Bring one weight down to the floor. Concentrating on our single leg glute bridge. We're doing the raise to tap. Okay? Now we're moving the weight to the right. Left hand is on the floor. And a rip, thrust. Extend that left leg. Here we go. Drop to the floor. Tap the heel. And raise. Keep that leg straight as you extend it up. Good job. 15. Last one. And drop. Nice job, everybody. You did it. Good work. Give yourself a pat on the back. That was tough. Okay, I'm sure your glutes are gonna be nice and fired up tomorrow. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day and enjoy your booty birds. <laughs>